Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be flashing Betaflight to the Eosheen QX90C and this is uh, highly requested uh, from the original review of the QX90C so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to just do a quick sort of like uh, overview on how to flash it and I'm going to just basically show you how I'm setting up my board I'm not going to go over too much of the explanation of why I'm making those selections I have two other videos um, that are more general Betaflight flashing um, tutorials. I'm going to put cards in the corner for both of those so you can check those out to get more in-depth knowledge if you need that. But I'm just going to go ahead and quickly show you how I'm going to set up this particular board for my, uh, my, my style of flying. So let's go ahead and get right into it. First you want to go into the firmware flasher and beta flight configurator and the board on here is the SP Racing F3 Evo. So we want to select that board. And I'm going to choose the latest uh, Betaflight 3.1.1. And these are the um, settings that I normally pick for uh, flashing Betaflight. Uh, usually pick the baud rate of 256.000. And since we're going from clean flight to Betaflight, I will also select full chip erase. Now, if you have issues with flashing, uh, I would recommend searching Zadig and clean flight on um, Google to basically do a driver wipe on your computer because usually uh, if you have like errors like serial port errors or you can't flash or can't connect to the board it's because your computer has a problem with the driver and it can't connect to uh, the USB port on the flight controller. So um, usually there's this tool called Zadig that will let you um, replace that Windows driver and I I'm not going to do that tutorial in here. It's a completely separate tutorial. You can uh, search other YouTube uh, videos for that. There's plenty of uh, videos that cover how to do a, a driver replacement. So assuming you have the correct drivers, like on my computer, if you have these settings, this should just flash. So I'm going to go ahead and hit load online, get the firmware, and then we're going to hit flash. Okay, so then, now we're done flashing, we can hit connect to the board and we can see that we're on the uh, 3.1.1 version. Uh, I usually just do a calibrate accelerometer first, even though I usually just disable it. I might think I might set up this one with uh, angle mode for um, just for testing purposes. I usually don't fly angle mode. Okay, so in the uh, ports tab, um, here are all the UARTs. We don't have any um, external serial receivers connected, so I'm not going to be changing anything here. And then on the uh, configuration page here, uh, we want to select brushed. Um, you want to select motor PWM speed separated from PID speed. And uh, these are all actually the stock settings. I didn't change any of these. 16,000 for the motor PWM frequency. And uh, so I'm going to actually use air mode, so I'm going to actually have my minimum throttle higher than a 1000, so I'm going to set that to 1050. My receiver is a PPM receiver, that's the built-in one on the board. I'm going to turn off RSSI. I'm going to leave on VBAT, turn off the current sensor. I'm going to leave all of these, this, the stock 8 and 2, and leave the accelerometer on. I'm going to turn off the telemetry, turn off black box, turn off transponder and turn on air mode. Yeah, that's it for this page. Uh, I'm not going to change anything fail safe. These are the stock PID uh, settings and I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to bump these up. I'm just going to go with something pretty high. And uh, let's see, a 70. I'm just guessing at this point and so I'm going to see how it flies. This is based on some numbers that I've tried with uh, my other builds and they seem to work okay. And Let's save. And you want to check your receiver tab here and make sure that all your channels are working correctly and that everything is working in, in the proper directions. And I'm going to be uh, setting up uh, 
aux one as my arming channel. Um, RC dead band, I usually set that to five, and same with the odd dead band, set that to five. And here in mode, I'm gonna have aux one for arming. Save. You see that's working. And I'll I'll add uh, angle mode on aux two. And that's also working. And uh, that is pretty much it to get Betaflight working. Um, let me just check here in the CLI. Uh, let's see here. So I'm going to lower the uh, min check to 1005. Just because um, I want to reduce that dead bin at the end of the very bottom of the throttle. And then I'll save. So that's pretty much it for the beta flight setup. It's actually pretty easy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'll fly it on these sort of guest PIDs and see how they how it goes. And you'll see what, what it looks like in the video. And then I'll uh, publish some finalized PIDs after I've had some time to tune it. Probably in about a week. If you go in the description, about a week after this video has been published, you'll uh, have a link to a CLI dump. Uh, that you can then uh, get the, the finalized PADs for this particular um, setup. Anyway guys, hope you liked the video. I'll put some flight footage up right now, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.